I was offered a chance to submit a proposal, uh, which would be a commission to create artworks for this space. Um, so in a preliminary meeting with the, the architects and the art selection committee, uh, they were putting emphasis on the fact that this is in the pine lands, so the artwork should somehow reflect where it is, the materials that are used, and so on. And I, had, I knew there was, from looking at the architectural plans, there were, there were going to be four spaces in this grand hall, so that immediately thought of the Four Seasons. Uh, I live in the Pine Lands, so most of these scenes are, are, are water on the bottom of them based on the Mullica near where I live, or the Batstow, or the Wading River, or places I've gone canoeing. Or in the winter one, uh, the uh, Atlantic County Park that has this little uh, dock you can go out on and observe this creek. So I spent time there, different seasons of the year. Next step was to take my ideas and submit them in proposal form. So I did a series of 10 by 36 inch paintings on museum board. I think I did maybe 15 or 16 studies for each season. So months went by and committee called a meeting and I came and presented the ideas. Uh, so they had the four seasons to choose from. Uh, they had to pick like one out of 15 for each season. And the ones that you see here uh, are the ones basically that they picked. <laughs> you know, when you're working, when you do something 10 by 36 and then you work it up to six and a half by 22 feet, it's gonna, you're going to make some changes. Uh, you're going to make some additions and some subtractions and whatnot. So that's what happened. All the paintings are in the form of a diptych. Uh, two panels simply because it was too unwieldy to work these things uh, six and a half by 22 feet. I mean I could have done it but it would have been very difficult for me to move them around. And each, each of the paintings what I tried to do was take something from the pine lands that's you know, from nature, but it's relatively small. In this case, it's a swamp maple. And the swamp maple leaves, um, if I remember right, are probably only about one and a half or two inches big. So I tried to take things that are relatively small, blow them up, bring them up front of the painting. Uh, make sure, you know, in this one, it's cropped top and bottom, but in the, the winter one, and the one with the summer and the, and the flowers, Whatever is cropped up close is cut off on the bottom, which also gives a, a, a sense of depth, like you're looking beyond it into something, another kind of space. The other thing I tried to play with was basically all the things that I used to talk about in basic painting classes about how you create space on a, on a flat surface. Size and scale, you bring small things up, make them bigger, you make big things smaller. Um, you play with color, warmer colors coming up, cooler colors going back. The preliminary process of, of sort of figuring out what it was I was going to paint and then doing the studies uh, probably took about six or seven months to do all those small studies. The paintings themselves, once they were approved in terms of what the subject matter was going to be, stretching the canvases, you know, and doing all that took me about a year. Uh, so I work in the studio primarily in the morning, seven, morning till noon, knock off usually around noon. <laughs> you can only do something so long, you know, and then it turns into work. Uh, so I would work these up, um, like I would do the underpainting first, and this one, the whole underpainting was done, which is, is like the shape of those trees in the background of the blue, and then that would be, t be put into storage to dry. Oil painting has, oil paint has to dry a number of weeks or whatever before you can put layers over it, otherwise the layers that go on top, as you know, will crack. Uh, so then I would bring them back in the studio and, uh, you know, work on it, work it up, add things, take things out, put it back into storage. So as I was working on one, the other three would be drying, and then I'd be bringing it back and forth 
you know. And little by little, you work them up until there's really nothing else you can do, do to it. So. so hopefully they're finished. <laughs>